Y'all give it up for Mrs. Lafario. Some of y'all ladies, y'all understand, y'all got it together, y'all understand what it means to be a cool chick, what it means to be cordial, nice, polite, what it means to understand men, understand what men want. So, y'all, you know, some of y'all out there is, is cool. You understand what I'm saying? But a lot of y'all don't understand what the fuck is going on. I'm going to get into that. I don't even know how long this video is going to be because I got a lot to say. But anyway, let me just jump right into it, right? So, I'm fucking hype, all right? I just came from school, right? And... You know, we have this this uh, class. I'm in this class, and we talk about race and, and media and all this other stuff, right? So, and, you know, for some reason, we got on the topic of gender, and a professor was asking, you know, the class, he was like, so, you know, do you ladies feel that you're at a disadvantage, and, you know, does the society, um, you know, do, do they not give you certain rights and privileges and all this other shit, right? So... You know, we're talking about that stuff, right? And then for some reason, we got on the topic of going to like the club and shit, right? So then this girl, she started saying, oh, I don't like going to the club. And, you know, I hate like because these guys, they be dancing all up on me. And she said, you know, I don't want a guy to come up on me and put his dick all up in my booty, right? So I turn around and I ask her, I said, so um, do you like men, right? So now, she gets upset, the whole class is going crazy, you know, it's because it's like, it's like 30, 40 something people in the class and only like six guys, and the rest is chicks, you understand, so they're losing their fucking mind, like, they're like, oh my god, how could you say that, you're so disrespectful, blah, 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 and it's not about that, it's about him violating her personal space, right, so this is the thing, what I say, right, that's bullshit. This is like it, 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 this is like me saying, let's say if I went to a club and I danced up on some white chick, right? And then, you know, later she left the club and she started talking to her friends and then she was like, "Oh my god, you know, I hate when I go to a club and 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 these niggers, you know, be all up on me." You understand what I'm saying? So then whoever's in her circle or whoever she's talking to are probably going to ask her, wait a second, are you, are you racist? Do you not like black guys? That's going to lead them to think that because of what you're, what you're saying, what you're attaching to it when, when you're getting specific like that. It's not like this girl who, who, you know, in my class was saying, oh, I went to the club and then, you know, people just, you know, come all up on me and they're violating my personal space. No, she used specifics she, she said i don't want this guy's dick up in my booty you understand what i'm saying so and then uses the excuse that oh it's just about personal space that's like the girl who's who would say oh i don't want these niggas all up on me saying oh it's not about him being black i'm not racist it's just i don't want people in my personal space you understand and the thing is she might not have meant it like that as far as like you know the, the chick saying she don't want the guy's dick in the, all up in her booty she might not have meant it as a sexual thing in, in 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 me to refer to that as her not liking men but at the same time when you're putting those 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 when you're making it that specific it's going to lead me to want to understand what what do you really mean by that and this is the thing what happens is is that a lot in society being sexual has become synonymous with being disrespectful, especially when it comes to a man, you know, fucking with a chick. You understand what I'm saying? So you have these ladies out here, these American women out here, who are running around, don't know what the hell they want, because I, I guarantee you, if that was fucking Brad Pitt that came up to you, you wouldn't mind if his dick was all up in your booty. But, oh, it's just this guy, and now you want to say, oh, it's because personal space and all that other bullshit. And then, you know, then they want to come to me, and then, you know, so at this point, the class is, you know, going crazy, people going back and forth. And then, so it was like, oh, but what if a, a guy comes up to you, and, you know, is rubbing all up on you? And I would be like, yo, I would say, I would be like, look, I don't want this guy's dick all up on my all up on me you understand and somebody's gonna be like oh so what you don't like men i'm like yes i don't like men you understand so i'm just answering the question or somebody might be like oh are you homophobic i'm like no i'm not homophobic i just don't want guys stuff on me and that's just me answering the question so when i say look do you not like men why can't you just answer the fucking question you understand that's what i'm this is what i'm trying to say like and then it becomes like this 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 very like juvenile stupidness like we're adults here we're having a conversation you understand what i'm saying so 
it was like it was just real stupid. Then 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 what what was crazy was, you know, they we were talking a little more, and then they got all up on it talking about, oh, something's wrong with you, and and you must have issues with your mom. And I'm like, what? I'm like, yo, my mom is awesome. Okay, I love my mom. My mom is the shit. Okay, even my girl who is the shit. I look at what you know. I always said I want a woman, or the woman I choose to to, to stick with, has to have the, the the qualities that my mom has, because my mother was the shit. You understand? So I have no issue with my mother, and 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 and, and I have a girlfriend who I've been with for six years who loves the shit out of me. My girl still, yo. I wake up some mornings, and my girl always knows I go to my computer. And she draws me little hearts and shit, and she's like, oh, hey, baby, I love you, have a nice day, I fixed something in the fridge for you, your lunch is there. Like, my girl loves the shit out of me, so I ain't got, I have no issue with, with, with these women. I have issues with women who do not know what the fuck they're about, and what the fuck they're talking about. Because then, in the, in the conversation... You know, the girls started saying, oh, well, you know, you guys need to be more polite. What you need to do is you need to go to the club and then you 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 buy the girl a drink. And then I'm like, what? No, no, stop it. No. You understand? Like, it, it, so they're, they're trying to dictate all of this shit. And then you have guys listening to this bullshit, trying to be on some nice guy shit. And then they fuck up and then they wonder why, you know, things aren't going well for them. You understand what I'm saying? And... The funny part was this. This is the part that was really, really ridiculous. Okay? So then this other girl, she says, right? She says that she was in a club and this guy rubs up on her or go, you know, comes from behind and starts to dance with her. So then she says she turns around and smacks him, right? So I look at her, I'm like, yo, you bullshit, you ain't smack nobody. Like, stop, stop fronting, you ain't smack no dude, whatever. And the funny part was when she said it. All the girls in the, in the class was laughing, it was funny, it was cool. And I'm like, how come nobody is saying to her, like, yo, why would you put your hands on the guy? Why are you being violent? You understand what I'm saying? Nobody said that to her. But when I ask a question, I'm the fucking bad guy. Then, when I was leaving the classroom, because this is like, you know, near the end of the class. Leaving the class. So then this other girl, she, she, she comes up to me. And she's like, she's mad. Like, she's furious at me for for what? I don't know. No, actually, I do know. She was furious, uh, you know, because I was keeping it real. And I wasn't, you know, being a pussy and trying to, you know, accommodate to, to, to what I feel that she needed to hear in order for her to feel good. But whatever. Anyway, so she gets, she gets mad at me. And then she comes up to me and says, oh, you know, I can't believe you said that. And I should smack you, right? So she says this in front of two other girls that's, you know, we're in the hallway and these two girls are in my class. They both hear it. So I say to the two girls, I was like, hold on, hold on. Did you guys just hear that? Did y'all just hear her say she wants to smack me, right? How come none of y'all aren't saying anything? How come nobody's saying nothing? You understand what I'm saying? It's okay, but, so, but if I was to go in a classroom or if I was to say, I'm going to smack any of you girls because I don't agree with you, then they would have called security up there and I would have got kicked out of school and all this other shit. You understand what I'm saying? So, and this is why, you know, I, I, I feel bad for some of these American women because they don't know when they're fucking up. Because imagine it wasn't me. Imagine it was, see, I'm, I'm a smart dude. I'm a cool dude. I, you know, I understand certain shit. If that chick goes up to another dude and says that shit, he might just pop off on her. You understand what I'm saying? And it should be laid out. So, and, and the funny part was, it was this girl... This little, like, lanky, scrawny, uh, uh, like, 22-year-old chick who I'm basically twice her size telling me she was, she's going to smack me. You understand what I'm saying? Like, I have a, I have a, a, a neighbor who has a, a big-ass, like, Rottweiler dog next door, and he barks all the time, and people walk by the, the, the past the house, and he barks, and they jump back because, oh, shit, like, they get, you know, he, they, they get scared because it's, like, surprising them, and it's this big, crazy dog. Now, imagine somebody is walking by, and they was, like, they heard the dog, and it scared them, and they're like, oh, this dog is annoying me. Every time I come by this place, I keep hearing a bark. I'm going to jump over the fence and smack the shit out the dog. You would think that, that the person that said that is fucking crazy. 
Why? Because the dog will fucking bite your hand off. You understand what I'm saying? So why would a scrawny uh, a chick who's, ha you know, half my size, if she was smart, why would she come up and say that to me? You understand what I'm saying? She doesn't know. She doesn't, like, see, she, how does she know I'm not one of those crazy dudes that's going to do that? Or maybe she was smart enough to know that I not those guys and that's what she was just showing out just to be stupid but either way you never know and so i'm like why would you do that shit and this is what i say when when i you know but i'm like i feel sorry for a lot of these american women because i swear it's it's this american culture that got these ladies fucked up they watching all this tv thinking they can smack dudes in the face you understand what i'm saying like it's it's sad it's fucking sad and it's like, yo, my thing is this, I, 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 I appreciate the American women out here who get it because you have a lot of women out here who have boyfriends who stick with them, who actually enjoy, you know, their company. And it's because you're doing something right. You understand what I'm saying? And you have all these single ladies out here still wondering why they're single. And it's because you're, 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 you're. You're doing something that is is detrimental to your success and one of the main things that you're doing is you're not listening i've said this a million fucking times i don't understand like like i'm in the classroom trying to explain something but you don't want to listen you want to cry and get all upset because you feel your feelings were hurt sit down and, and chill i was listening to everything every chick was saying in there you understand what i'm saying so I can see where you're coming from. So I can have an actual conversation with you. You understand? We're supposed to be adults. This is, we're in college. We're supposed to be adults. Why am I, you know, in a situation where I'm with, supposed to be with grown ass women and they're acting like children. It doesn't make sense. You understand what I'm saying? So shout out to the ladies who, who, who understand what's going on, who understand what it means to be in a relationship with a man or be in situations with men and know how to act around people and not want to smack people just because you feel upset. You understand what I'm saying? Like, seriously, seriously, ladies, seriously. I make fucking videos, I write articles, I have freaking podcasts, I have um, audio seminars, I have books for you, just specifically for you ladies. Cause I like I actually want shit to get better. That shit, it 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 it, it it's, I feel sad. I feel upset. I feel like I just shake my head when I see it. Cause I'm like, yo, you are what 23, 24 years old. You 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 in college and you still don't know shit about the world. You don't know shit when it comes to you know relationships. Like do you, do. You, do you people do you see why I, I I say it's important to have game? Do you understand why now? And this is why you know for men and women, this is why you have to understand the game because you're gonna put yourself in situations that are not going to have a a, a good outcome for you. Now, see, my fault was, you know, because we we this is the thing in my in that class is we're kind of like. We're in an environment where we're supposed to be able to speak and not necessarily, you know, people like they, they don't have to feel like they're they're uh, censored or they have or they're going to get shut down. So which is the reason why I just was like talking and saying, yo, I'm asking you a question like, what do you know? Do you like guys? Because from what you said, it seems like you're not into guys. You understand? And then she gets upset at it. And I don't know, She may, probably she doesn't like guys. Probably she likes women and she's trying to deal with that. I don't know what it is. But don't, you know what I'm saying? Don't, don't take all that shit out on me. And then when you have women in here talking about they, they slapping this guy and the girl talking about she about to slap me and nobody says shit about it. You understand what I'm saying? So people, get it together. Please, please get it together. But, um, but yeah, shout out to the real chicks and... If you guys, let me know what y'all think, man. Leave a comment below. Um, hit me up, MrLocario.com, I look sexy naked.com. Remember, the truth is inside you. Peace.